All right, so today we are going to be making an underwater scene. So we talked a little bit about this on the website. So imagine this paper is gonna be our ocean. So let's start with some wave. You can draw a straight line. I'm gonna draw just a curve, three curves, or I may even make some curls for those people who wanna be a little bit advanced. Now, when you can think about the kinds of creatures that live in the ocean. Now, I'm definitely gonna want some fish. Now, the easiest way to make a fish Brown and a smile, and then add a little triangle for the tail. Now you can add your other fins as well. An eye, and don't forget your gills in your mouth. And there's your fish right there. Happy little fish. I'm also going to draw the ocean floor, and maybe I'm going to add a little treasure chest. I'm going to draw a little arc here and a straight line and a curved line to match the other side. Now, there's a line going across from my lid, and there's my treasure chest. Now, that's that's fun and everything, but let's add some more stuff here. Maybe I'm going to add some seaweed. All I need are some squiggles. Maybe I'll add a shark, which is just like the fish, because sharks are just a kind of fish. But instead of doing a curve or a frown and a smile or a rainbow and a smile, I'm going to draw a straight line and then a smile underneath it. Now, right there is my shark's body. I'm gonna add the dorsal fin, which is a triangle that's curved just a little bit, just like the waves. I might draw a little smile there. Zigzag the teeth, maybe some gills, some more fins, and the tail. Shark's tails are usually kind of sharp. Now, there's not just fish under the ocean. We might even have some sea stars. I'll put those on the actual floor of my ocean. Yeah, draw an octopus. So I'm going to draw a circle here and some arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, happy smile. Great. So let's add it, maybe even add a person, or if we want to, scuba diver. So I'm going to draw me. Let me give myself some goggles. Why not? I don't normally go scuba diving, so I don't. Add the snorkel there. I'll put that in front of my mouth. All right, it's kind of a sloppy thing, but I'm gonna give myself a a wetsuit. And then we're going to add some flippers on there too. And some bubbles. Uh, maybe want to add some jellyfish. I'm going to draw another curve going down like that. And some tentacles for my jellyfish. Maybe some designs on the inside. It looks a little bit like a SpongeBob. Um, SpongeBob jellyfish. But you get the idea. So then once you've drawn your uh, your undersea picture, you can color it with whatever you have. If you don't have any colors or all you have are just some pencils or pens, just use that. It, it's not about the supplies. It's about using your imagination. But most important part, don't forget your name. Because how am I going to know who it belongs to if it doesn't have it? And that's it.